Whether you're out in the wilderness or in your home, you're never that far away from a spider. However, there are so many different spider species, approximately 40,000 worldwide, that it's hard to figure out which ones you really need to worry about and which ones are harmless. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most venomous spiders in the world. Make sure you watch out for number one, because not only is it the most venomous spider in the world, one could be lurking in your house right now. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Red-Legged Widow. The Red-Legged Widow is a very rare spider, which is a member of the Black Widow family and highly venomous. According to all literature, this spider is indigenous to South and Central Florida. This colorful spider is less than an inch long, but packs the same type of venom as its other widow relatives. It sports a red-orange cephalothorax, its abdomen is black with yellow rings outlining the rows of red spots, and its legs are vermilion red. On its underside, it does not have the familiar hourglass marking, and instead usually has one or two small red marks. And like with all spiders, females are almost double the size of the male. The good news is, this spider is so rare that encounters with humans very seldom happens. But when bites do happen, they are not very pleasant. Bite systems are systemic, spreading through the lymphatic system, and usually starts about one to three hours after the bite. The most common symptoms are intense pain, rigid abdominal muscles, muscle cramping, malaise, local sweating, nausea, vomiting, and hypertension. If left untreated, these bite symptoms usually last from three to five days. Number nine, the wolf spider. The wolf spider is a member of the Lycosidae family and there are around 125 species found in the US and about 50 species found in Europe. A full grown wolf spider is typically a half an inch to two inches in length. They are hairy and are usually brown or gray with various stripe-like markings on their backs. They received the name wolf spider due to an early belief that the spiders would actually hunt their prey in a group. Some other names for the wolf spider are the ground spider and the hunting spider. Unlike most spiders, wolf spiders do not make webs, but actively hunt for their prey. Even though the wolf spider is poisonous, its venom is not lethal. This spider is not known to be aggressive, however, they will bite if they feel like they are in harm or danger. If bitten by a wolf spider, the wound should not be bandaged, but an ice pack should be placed on the bite to reduce swelling. If necessary, the victim should avoid any movement or increased heart rate, because it is extremely important to see medical attention if bitten by a wolf spider. Number 8. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider This Eastern Australian native spider is one of the most feared of the venomous animals down under. They're typically one to three inches long and can be very aggressive when provoked. The long-lived female funnel webs spend most of their time in their silk-lined tubular burrow retreats. The males tend to wander during the warmer months of the year looking for receptive females. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is responsible for 13 confirmed deaths between 1927 to 1980. The Sydney funnel web spider venom contains a compound known as atracotoxin, a highly toxic ion channel inhibitor. These spiders typically deliver a full envenomation when they bite, often striking repeatedly due to their aggression and their large fangs, and for this reason people are strongly advised not to approach them. Chances of being bitten are high if encountered. There is at least one recorded case of a small child dying within 15 minutes of a bite from a Sydney funnel web spider. For very small children, the amount of venom dispersed throughout the body is many times the concentration in an adult. Fortunately, since the anti-venom was developed in 1980, there have been no recorded fatalities from Sydney funnel web spider bites. But it's still a good idea to be cautious. Number 7. The Northern Funnel Web Spider The Northern Funnel Web Spider of Australia is the largest of this genus, reaching sizes over 3 inches long and is most easily distinguished by its habit of dwelling in trees. These spiders are attracted to water and often fall into swimming pools, leading to encounters with homeowners trying to scoop them out of the water. The venom from all funnel web spider species can kill a human within minutes if no anti-venom is available. They carry the toxin called atracotoxins, which we just talked about, and exposure to this toxin might result in goosebumps, sweating, tingling around the mouth and tongue, twitching, salivation, watery eyes, elevated heart rate, and elevated blood pressure. There's a lot of things. The final stages of severe envenomation include dilation of the pupils, uncontrolled generalized muscle twitching, unconsciousness, elevated intracranial pressure, and death. This itself makes the funnel web spider one of the most dangerous and poisonous spiders in the world. Number 6. The Chilean Recluse The Chilean Recluse spider is a venomous spider closely related to the brown recluse spider. 
This spider is considered by many to be the most dangerous of the recluse spiders, and its bite is known to frequently result in severe systemic reactions, including death. As suggested by its name, this spider is not aggressive and usually bites only when pressed against human skin, such as when putting on an article of clothing. Like all recluse spiders, the venom of the Chilean recluse contains the dermonecrotic agent, which is otherwise found only in a few pathogenic bacteria. Some bites are minor with no necrosis, but a small number of bites have produced severe dermonecrotic lesions or even systemic conditions, sometimes resulting in renal failure. In about 4% of cases in a clinical study in Chile, the victims actually died. Number 5. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider the six-eyed sand spider is a medium-sized spider with a body measuring one to two inches and legs spanning up to four inches. It is found in deserts and other sandy places in southern Africa with close relatives found in both Africa and South America. It is a cousin to the recluses which are found worldwide. Due to its flattened stance, it is also sometimes known as the six-eyed crab spider. Bites by this spider to humans are uncommon but have been experimentally shown as lethal to rabbits within five to twelve hours. There are no confirmed bites and only two suspected ones on record. However, in one of these cases, the victim lost an arm to massive necrosis and in the other, the victim died of massive hemorrhaging, similar to the effects of a rattlesnake bite. Toxicology studies have demonstrated that the venom is particularly potent, with a powerful hemolytic and necrotoxic effect, causing blood vessel leakage, thinning of the blood, and tissue destruction. Number 4. The Brown Recluse the brown recluse spider, also known as violin spiders, fiddlers, or fiddlebacks from the dark violin-shaped marking on the head, are slow-moving, retiring spiders that wander about in dim areas. They often den in footwear, clothing, and beds, and are then easily trapped against someone's skin by clothing, bedsheets, and the like, leading to the spider's bite. Most encounters with this spider occur from moving boxes or rooting about in closets or under beds. The range of the brown recluse in the U.S. is mostly restricted to the Midwest, South, and Southeast, like in my hometown of Tucson. However, a number of related recluse spiders are found in Southern California and nearby areas as well. The bite of a brown recluse is extremely venomous and has led to fatalities through massive tissue loss and the subsequent infection. Sadly, fatalities from brown recluse spiders have been reported only in children younger than 7 years of age. Number 3. The Brown Widow well, I'm pretty sure nobody's heard of this one. The brown widow spider, like its cousins the black widow, redback spider, and katipo, are spiders that carry a neurotoxic venom, which can cause a set of symptoms known as latrodectism. Like many spiders, widows have very poor vision and they move with difficulty when they're not on their web. The brown widow spiders have relatively spindly legs and deep globular abdomens. The abdomen has one or several red spots, either above or below. The spots may take form of an hourglass or several dots in a row. The male widows, like most spider species, are much smaller than the females and may have a variety of streaks and spots on a browner, less globular abdomen. The males are generally less dangerous than the females, but will bite if the web is disturbed and the spider feels threatened. The venom of a brown widow, while seldom life-threatening, produces very painful effects, including muscle spasms, tetanus-like contractions, and in some cases, spinal or cerebral paralysis. This paralysis is generally temporary, but might leave permanent damage to central nervous system. A serious bite will often require a short hospital stay. Children, elderly, and ill individuals are at most risk of serious effects. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at an exceptionally beautiful spider, but never let its looks fool you. Although this species of tarantula is very popular in the pet trade, better make sure to look but not touch because it packs a venom that will surely ruin your day. Number 2. The Fringed Ornamental Tarantula The Fringed Ornamental Tarantula is a large and stunning species. With the ability to reach over 10 inches, some reporting 12, it is quite a sight to behold indeed. It is suggested that this species is enjoyed for viewing and you should really know what you're doing if you attempt to pick or hold one. A single bite from this tiny spider will earn you a trip to the local hospital. Although there has never been a recorded death from any tarantula bite, this species is considered to have a medically significant bite with venom that may cause intense pain and extreme muscle cramping, judging from the experience of keepers bitten by this species. They move rapidly, and although they generally prefer flight to fight, may attack when cornered. For instance, in a recent incident reported in the journal Toxicon, which is an excellent resource for those interested in venom and venomous creatures, a man in Switzerland was bitten on the finger while feeding his pet tarantula. He felt little pain at the time, but experienced hot flashes two hours later. 
Within 15 hours, he was hospitalized with muscle spasms and chest pain. He was treated with muscle relaxers, but muscle cramps continued for an additional three weeks. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, the Brazilian Wandering Spider. The Brazilian Wandering Spider is a large brown spider similar to North American wolf spiders but bigger and possessing a more toxic venom. It has the most neurologically active venom of all spiders and is regarded as the most dangerous spider in the world. Brazilian Wandering Spiders are active hunters and travel a lot. They tend to crawl into cozy, comfortable places for the night and sometimes crawl into fruits and flowers that humans consume and cultivate. If the spider has a reason to be alarmed, it will bite in order to protect itself. But unless startled or aggravated, most bites will be delivered dry or without venom. Venom bites will occur if the spider is pressed against something or hurt. In this case, the high levels of serotonin contained in the venom will deliver a very painful bite that can result in muscle shock. Occasional deaths have occurred even after anti-venom treatment. Children are more sensitive to the bites of wandering spiders as the spiders often make threat gestures such as raising up their legs or hopping sideways on the ground which might entice a curious child. Children have weaker immune systems as well and even if anti-venom is quickly administered, death can occur within minutes after the bite. Which venomous spider are you most fascinated by? Let us know in the comments section down below. Wanna watch more videos on venomous animals? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. With all that said and done, I hope you all have a good day and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.